As the clock struck midnight, new laws took effect across the country. Recreational marijuana became legal in another state. Some patients will get some cheaper prescription drugs, and there's new, a groundbreaking new law that protects hairstyles. More now from Carter Evans. The new decade begins with a nice bonus for millions of workers. 21 states are raising their minimum wage from 10 cents in Florida to $1.50 in Washington state, where the minimum wage is now $13.50 an hour. How's it going, man? In California, gig workers, including rideshare and delivery drivers, are now considered employees, making them eligible for paid sick leave and other benefits. They want those rights, like any other worker in California. And you're ready to become an employee to get them? I'm ready to be defined as employee to get them, yes. Uber and Postmates are challenging the new law in court. To help combat skyrocketing drug costs, Colorado is the first state to put a $100 copay cap on a month's supply of insulin. In California, natural hairstyles like afros, braids, and dreadlocks are now legally protected. This follows recent incidents nationwide of African Americans being unfairly targeted because of their hair. And starting today, all new homes built in California must have solar panels. It's a big energy savings, but it will add about $10,000 to the cost of construction. Washington becomes the latest state to raise the minimum age to 21 for buying tobacco or vaping products. That could also be a federal law later this year. And Illinois now joins 10 other states in legalizing the use of recreational marijuana. Also in Illinois, it's now illegal to stream video while you're driving. Yes, that's a thing, and it's caused some deadly accidents, proving once again some laws are designed to protect us from ourselves. Major? Carter Evans, thank you so much.